For our 319 final project, we made Super Smash Bros. TM4C Edition. It's based off of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. So this is the stage select menu, and there's six different stages to select from. Uh, we're going to start out with Final Destination. There's also three different playable characters, Kirby, John Lovano, and Mr. King. Each character is controllable with the joystick and the buttons A and B. The buttons are combined with joystick input to achieve different moves. Each character has its own unique moveset and about 14 different moves, so there's a bunch of animations. We tried to make the movesets as accurate as possible when compared to the actual Smash game, but there were simplifications like Kirby's Rachel Special, because nobody wants to redraw all of Kirby's 200 frames to look like Game of Launch. So for those who are new to Nintendo's Smash Bros. franchise, the goal of this game is to knock the other player out of the screen. As you get hit more, you receive more damage, and it increases your knockback. Once you get extremely high damage, most moves will easily kill you. We ended up not showing the damage numbers to improve frame performance since adding the large numbers would crowd out the SPI bus and reduce the frame performance significantly. Each player starts out with 3 lives. Every time a player dies, the remaining lives are shown. Once a player loses all of their lives, the survivor wins. Our third character, Dr. John Valvano, is completely original and the character concept and animations were drawn by us. We also synthesized some voice lines for him using IRL Professor Valvano's edX videos. So Valvano's neutral B shoots a laser gun at the other player, his neutral attack is a standard jab, his dash attack is a Naruto run, which he actually used during last year's Area 51 raid. His tilts and smashes were combined, and his forward tilt throws a TM4C at the other player. His down tilt is a split, and his up tilt waves a burning torch around his head. His neutral air spins him around, smashing everything around him. For his up air, Valvano pulls out a hot soldering iron and pokes players above him with it. His front and back air were combined so that he kicks anything in front or behind him. His side B throws a long range power cord like a whip. His up B uses a drone to fly himself upwards. This one's kinda OP. Valvana's down B releases a robot car from the 302 final lab, which drives around and detonates on contact with the other player or when its fuse times out. Here's a Valvano mirror match in the DER. The hardware is mounted on a custom PCB, which was designed in Eagle and modeled in Fusion 360. It contains an 8-bit DAC, 3 buttons, 2 right angle buttons, a joystick, triggers, and header pins for the TM4C, a ribbon cable, and an LCD screen. The LCD screen we chose to use is an ILI 9341, a 2.8 inch 320 by 240 pixel display which we wrote a custom driver for. It gave us a lot more screen area than the ST7735R, but at the cost of higher SPI bus traffic from the increased amount of pixels needed to be updated each frame. Thus, optimizing sprite animations was super important in order to maintain frame performance. One of these optimizations was using a second TM4C as a dedicated GPU slave. The slave TM4C relays the sprite data of a character in bulk from an SD card to a 1 megabyte flash memory chip on the game startup. Using a flash memory chip allows for much faster reads compared to reading directly from the SD card, but also required another custom driver. Using an SD card and a flash memory system are necessary as the TM4C wouldn't be anywhere close to being able to store the 3.5 megabytes of sprite data we ended up using. While the game is running, the master controller computes game logic and streams 32K 8-bit audio from the SD card into an audio queue, allowing for audio to overlay. The slave controller receives sprite locations from the master controller, accesses sprite data from flash memory, compiles the current frame, and then paints it onto the LCD screen. Having the master and slave controllers running different tasks in parallel gives us enough computing power to ensure everything runs smoothly without sacrificing speed. Before porting onto the TM4C, all game logic was developed through our computer simulation, which simulated the LCD, SD cards, and flash memory, making it much more easier, efficient, and practical to write 8300 lines of game code, and to tune things such as hitboxes, animations, and knockback.